think the pitch helped at all. Oh, Nivenso just confirms. Oh, so next year, the Tez. Really? Tez? Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new game we're playing today. That's right, we're playing Game Dev Tycoon, a new video game, um, game, well, it's hard to explain. Basically, you basically simulate the cycle of a video game developer. It's a lot of fun and yeah, we're going to show you guys this today because honestly, I remember watching big guys play this such as, you know, Jesse Cox, Sips, and Realscast. And to be honest with you, it is so much fun to watch, and I've been meaning to play this for quite some time. I have played some of it before, but it'll be good to like get back into it and just see what the changes are, etc. So yeah, that being said, I'm so excited for this. Let's get straight into this. Ooh, okay, so we start off. Okay, welcome to Dame Dev there. Great, great start. A man who can't read is basically we're gonna be reading all these text boxes as well. Hopefully you can bear with me on this. Uh, welcome to Dame Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulator, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company. Uh, okay, so um, yeah, it looks like we're basically starting our own game company. This is basically taking us to the beginning of like when game started, which is pretty cool. I see a little Mandalorian there. Maybe that's how we got there. You know, like a little Mandalorian. That would have been pretty cool. But um, let's not get, let's not think about it too much. Let's focus on the game. So, um, yeah, in the next 45 years, you can build your dream company, create the biggest selling games, gain fans, and become the lead, the leader of the market. Okay. Before you start your adventure, you have to give yourself an upcom your upcoming company a name. Okay. Ah, oh, here we go. This is it. So, what will our company be? Well. I don't know. I think we should keep on the whole alien vibe at the minute. So let's just go with... We'll call it Mothership Gaming. Mothership Games. There you go. And we are, of course, Jakob AA. Uh, we are a man. Or should we be a female? Ooh. I don't know. It makes me think. Well, I'm not... I don't... Let's go with male. Let's go with male. Why not? No offense to anyone else. But that being said, let us go and choose someone. So I think this chooses the main. Who's the whitest? The palest one. This guy's the whitest for sure. Absolutely. And then clothes wise, we will probably take. Well, what's the whitest thing on this side? So I believe it's probably this, if not like that. Oh gosh, I look so boring, I'm not gonna lie. Oh well. Well, you know, this is good. Mothership Games, that's us there. Let's go straight to it. Okay. Unlock hints. Oh, since you've played this game before. Uh would you like to import all previous gained hints into the game? No, we are doing this fresh. Alright, cool. Let's look we've started. Alright, cool. Let's have a click. Let's get straight into it, I guess. Uh, what's our first game going to be? I think our first game should be about what should it be about? Um, actually, no, let's pick up a topic and let's kind of build it from there. So, um, let us do a... Ooh, let's do one about superheroes. I bet any uh, back then they used to be like a great superhero vibe. Um, it's got to be an action, of course. Uh, and it's going to be for... Ah, okay. So, should this be for... The G64 or the PC? Um... I would say the G64 is our best bet at the minute because it looks like it has a bigger market share. But let's go straight into that and then we will call the game. Um, what is it called? Uh, something in the 80s that could catch on about superheroes and that's action. I think it could be something such as, I don't know, um, Alien Man. <laughs> Alien Man. Alien Man. Alien Man. Alien Man. There you go. Next biggest one. What should it be? Um, oh, oh, I've just realised we have cost. We have 70k and I'm spending like 25 on this already. Are we going to lose all our money immediately? I don't know. Um, 2D graphics is pretty revolutionary, so let's take that. Well, we're actually going to run out of money. I can't believe it. Oh, look at this. So, Oh, okay. Let's. We'll get to this top bit in a minute. Okay, cool. So this is an action game. So basically in this bit, I guess we're just kind of like choosing what we can like make the game as. Essentially, we've got to hit that like ideal kind of 
yeah, the ideal kind of mix, if you will. So let's go with gameplay goes up, story list and coin, story list and quests go up, and then engine will go here. I think we need to be higher on gameplay though, for sure. Followed by stories and quests, and then a little bit of engine, maybe. Hopefully that'll be good. But I was just saying, design and technology; those are the two that we have at the moment. That's what's obviously the more design, more technology about the game. And obviously we got bugs on this left side, and on the right is just tech points. So it means we could like search things, which is pretty cool. Um, again, AI is going to go up. Level design is going to go up more than the AI. I'd say that's even. Dialogue can go down a bit it doesn't have to be too i don't think it has to be too much but there you go as you can see we are getting straight into this and yeah not too bad not too bad got some good research points one bug but we don't worry about that <laughs> um sounds up 100 percent. graphics up well design up um i think what if we put the sound down a bit and, but have world design up and graphics up. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? He says, no, that, that, every time I say that, that's how a series, that's how a series dies. That how That is how a series dies, Jacob. Stop saying that. Oh, sorry, Jacob, even. Uh, that, uh, uh, whatever. If you know if you know me, you, you'd know my name 100%. All right. Let's go here. But here we go. They're both going up now. And it looks like we're done. So let us iron out those bugs. So here we go. And we get a technology point for doing that. And so here we go. That's our starts. We've got some pretty good stats there. And we just level up. Let's just speed through this a bit. And there you go. We've got some skill as well. Let's release the game. All right, in review. That was our first reviews for it. And we got a six. I'll take a six. I'll take a six. Quirky but good. Seven, a good game. Okay. Alien Man, everyone. Alien Man's actually doing well. I was hoping that it would do well. I didn't think it would. Look at that, enjoyable. Could have, uh, well, all game, you know, all games. I don't even care about you, so whatever. But anyway, let's watch the sales going. While that's going on, oh, we've got some news. Uh, Mothership Games, newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Alien Man. Uh, the game received favorable reviews such... With such a good start, the Mothership games are sure to gain fans quickly. Okay, cool. So let's have a look at what we can do next. Why don't we generate a game report? See if we can get some stats out of that. Um, yeah, let's do it. But anyway, look at the unit sold, guys. That's so good. And immediately, we're almost back up to 70k again. That's really good. And there you go. 43rd in the chart. That's really good. That's so, so good. Um, Any man was so successful, that's... We now have 37 fans. That's really good. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that, guys. That is so, so good. And then we're now just getting money, 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 money. That's what we need. And there you go. We've got a game report now. And there you go. Sales records, of course. And now, yeah, what do we do now? I guess we just got to research into... Oh, we just research new topics. Oh, cool. Um, We could do... Oh, well, we've got these so far so what we can do is we could try perhaps a actually you know, let's play with the stuff we have at the moment because we can do something with virtual pets 100 percent 100 percent we can do something with virtual pets i think we might save up for custom engine as well because that would be pretty nice but yeah that being said let's try because let's not waste any time and let's just go straight into making another one i think that's a good idea so why don't we just develop a new game and let's try a virtual pets uh, simulation. No. Oh my goodness. Guys. Guys, 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 guys. We've got to do it. We've got to do it, right? I mean, research, new topic, life. Bear with me. Bear with me. I know what I'm doing. Look at that 107k in specials, guys. That's so good. So, so good. We're already on a roll. I'm proud of this. I'm proud. All right, let's take it. We got life, so let us develop a new game while that's still generating money. We're gonna have a life simulate. We're making the Sims, but we're not gonna call it Sims. We're gonna call it mind control because we're aliens and we are controlling humans. Because that's basically, let's be honest, in the Sims, that is what you're doing. That is what you're doing. You're basically controlling other beings to do like random stuff. 
And th this is what it is. So, but let's not call it Minecraft Cobble. We, got, we can't call that. Let's call it... Um, well, si Sims is called Sims because you're simulating life, I like to think. So if it's mind control, let's call it um, MCS. Mind Control Simulator. Yeah, Mind Control Simulator. I'm going to write that down. I, I smell some uh, definite money out of this for sure. But yeah, if we look at the market share, we're going back to this. We've got to, right? We've got to. MCS, 2D graphics, let's go. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. I'm looking forward to this. So, all right, if it's just a simulation, we don't really need this as much, which is good. We can put the engine up, put the gameplay up. Soaring Quest goes down just a little bit. All right, cool. So while that's going on... Oh, he's scratching his head. There you go, now we start. All right, okay, here we go. Can we do better than last time? I don't know. I mean, let's we're doing well so far. Um, AI's got to go up. Dialogue goes around here-ish. Level design goes here. I'd say dialogue goes up if it's a simulation, right? Uh, no, AI goes up. AI is our main focus. It's between level design and dialogue. I'd say... If it was a life simulation... You're talking all the time, so I imagine it'd be up there. Whereas with level design, it's like... Let's put this... You know what? I think that's good. Let's leave it like that. See if we can do anything. All right. Oh, we don't like that. We don't like bugs at all. Anyway, um, world design... It gets tough. It really does. Graphics go up. World design goes down. Sound goes down a bit, too. But that's okay. Okay. I don't know if this is going to be any better, though. Although, saying that... Oh, platform news. The recent market study... study uh, recent market studies suggest... That's um, the G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Uh, consumers prefer the lower price greater than the available and flexible hardware configuration over the home computers. Ooh. Um, experts say that uh, this might spell the end of computing hardware manufacturers. Maybe. Maybe we've revolutionized an industry. And again, we've got the same scores last time, guys. But do we get any extra points? Yes, we do. Okay. Here we go. We're back to 70k again. And again, we've got a new records in one of them at least. That's pretty good. And then we just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Look at that all going up. Very nice. Now we release the game and we wait. Let that happen. All right, reviews coming in. And oh, 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 oh. Better? Could be better. Let's, let's, let's. Oh, this is better, guys. I think we've nailed this. I think we've nailed this. Another seven. Guys, it's better. Guys, it's better. Guys, we're nailing this. This is brilliant. Brilliant. And while we're researching that, you know, we're going to get a load more sales. Look at this. Over 5k, 7k. Oh, nearly 8k in our first week and higher as well. Look at this. And we've got to generate another game report on that. That's so good. That's so, so good. That's definitely sequel worthy. And look at this, guys. So much sales. So much sales. Oh, look at this. According to the rumours, the Japanese company Nintendo is planning to launch its very own home uh, gaming console. Nintendo is known for wildly successful arcade game Dinky King. Oh, I've just realised who this is. This is Nintendo. This is Nintendo. Wow, alright. So we're up against Nintendo, I guess. Um, many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to, <laughs> to see what Nintendo We'll deliver. Well, this is going to age badly. Just a little bit, though. But anyway, we have to have got another game report here. Could we watch the game report? All right. So, it's a great combination. Yeah, all good. Can we do another game report? No. We could do game history, though. Okay, what can we research? Nothing else. All right. Let's make one more game, guys. Let's make one more. One more. Why not? Um. Okay. So, let's do what we said. So, let's do mystery... And let's do mystery strategy, and we're going to call it the mystery 
the mystery masterclass. And what happens is you are a child learning how to learn mystery. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. All right, um, here's, the, here's the pitch, guys. Here's the pitch. Essentially, you're teaching people how to solve mysteries. It's basically... These are the guys that taught the mystery gang, aka Scooby-Doo. I believe this is what it is. So, you know, it is the 80s, and it was around during the 80s, so maybe we could, you know, pick it back off that. Again, we're going to go to the G64 because of that sweet, sweet market share. 2D graphics, let's go. Let's go, boys and girls. But there you go. Because it is a mystery game, we've got to put stories and quests up there. Up it goes. Gameplay down a little. Engine down just a little bit, though. Again, it is a mystery game, so gameplay does have to be up just slightly. And engine can be down a bit, so we can do that. But yeah, let's see how this goes. Okay, okay. Okay, it's not too great so far, but we can definitely see what we can do there. Dialogue's got to be up. 100% dialogue's got to be up. Artificial intelligence might need to go down a little. Level design has to be up. Um, let's put AI here. I think this is a good this is a good balance, right? right let's see what happens. It's all uh, this might not be as good as a game as I thought it was. Um, as for the oh, um, sound needs to go up a little. Graphics are okay. World design. These two have got to go up. Sound's got to go down. I, I, I bet this is fine. I bet this is fine. Oh dear. Oh, it's not looking great. Not looking great, guys. This might be one of those games we might need to forget 100%. Maybe, I don't think the pitch helped at all. Oh, Nevento just confirms. Oh, so next year, the Tez. Really? Tez? <laughs> all right. Well, it looks like the Tez is coming out next year, which with its own unique controller as well. All right, cool. Well, we can do that. And again, not our best so far. New combo, new topic, yeah. Well, let's just speed through. Oh, we got a level up on graphics. That's cool. And then, yeah, while that's going on, we can do some more research on... <laughs> Romance? Um, so let's save up. I want to save up. Let's see, let's see how this game goes, guys. I want to embrace this goodness or badness, depending on what happens. But yeah, here we go. Mission Masterclass, and oh, 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 okay. There's no one likes that. They did not enjoy their Masterclass, guys, I don't think. Okay. All right. Oh, a free? I thought... Mm. Obviously not our best run. We we all knew that was going to happen. Okay, well, let's see how this sells. A oh, two hundred and two fans waiting in the wings for what is not a great game, but still okay. We've made fifteen k sales and we've got a contract to do. Okay, what's this? Let's have a look. Hi there, I've just finished Mystery Masterclass and I think you have potential. Really? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm in the contracting business and I would like to use your skills to do skills like yours if you are ever short of cash let me know and I will see if I got some work for you Jason well we've got loads of cash but you know thank you very much but yeah okay guys well I'll tell you what we'll do if we see how this sells please go over 200k we've lost some fans but over for the for money that's fine for money that's fine don't quote me on that later but yeah they go over 200k that's pretty good all right cool well, let's put a stop on this guys that has been yeah guys that's been our little playthrough of game dev tycoon um a little bit short um kind of short because uh, we're a little bit busy right now but yeah guys fun game we nailed our first two so we nailed uh mind control mind control i've written down mind control control we will never know what that stands for because I've just ruined that. Brilliant, fantastic. Well, we've Alien Man. Alien Man's the big one. We'll write that down. I'm definitely going to play this again. Yeah, Alien Man, just a hit with people. Alien Man, MCS, you know, Mind Simulation Control or my M. No, 
the second game the second game did well and the third game flops we might even forget about that last one but still guys that has been game dev tycoon what a lot of fun hopefully we get to play this again soon but guys if you liked it make sure to like and subscribe that being said guys i hope to see you all in the next one